Hello YouTube and welcome to another vlog since I haven't done one in like three, four months. I think June was the last one. Yeah, I, that's what I'm here to talk about though. Anyway, I am in a hotel room again and because I do not have my normal computer or my uh, microphone or that and I want to make a video, I figured that a vlog would be a good way to do it because they don't take too much time and I can just ramble on like this for a long time. And yeah, that makes a good video. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about talking to you about uh, Kimi no Nawa, which if you do not know, it is a movie that came out a few weeks, months ago, and it is by the same guy who did Five Centimeters Per Second. I forget his name. I probably should have written that down with these other notes. But yeah, if you like that movie, then you'll probably like this. I don't know. I actually haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of his movies other than this one. And there's noise behind me. Hopefully you don't pick up on that. Hopefully they don't hear me talking to you. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Kimi no Nawa. It is, well, it is, uh, at least currently, I believe so, the top-rated anime of all time on now with a score of 9.4. Uh, for a perspective, uh, both the New Game Thomas season and the Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood are like 9.2728, somewhere around there. So this is easily gone by both of those, which, well... Yeah, uh, Brotherhood's my favorite anime ever, and Gintama is, well, you'll hopefully get to that next that uh, video next weekend. But yeah, uh, Brotherhood is amazing, so to think that a movie could surpass it, well, I wasn't really expecting it, but a lot of people on Twitter have been, like, praising a lot, so I thought that maybe someday I'll take it. So maybe someday I will go watch it, but it turns out that's not the reason I watched it. But the reason I watched it was because of that anime snob, who I added on Skype a little while back because of some things with Fate and... Yeah, it was fate that uh, I added him. But yeah, he mentioned something to me about how it was a terrible movie, and you can go read slash watch his review if you want to know why. But this made me curious. So, like, so I was wondering, maybe I should look at it and see, is it just another overrated anime, or is it actually something awesome? And uh, watch it myself and make a video because it'd be controversial, especially if I bash it a lot. So yeah, here I am to make a video. Not quite bashing it, though. It could be a little bit critical, but yeah, it's... It was very hyped. I do not think it lived up to the hype, but it's still a good movie that I would largely recommend. Uh, first of all, the first reason that is good is obviously the animation, which, yeah, it looks gorgeous. There are some uh, frames where you could believe that is actually real life they just took a picture of. It's that good. The ca actual character designs, you definitely anime. It's like, you won't confuse that for real life. But still, the backgrounds of the piece of color, it was really cool. I'm actually... I don't know, I don't think it quite lived up to the hype I was expecting it for, because yes, it does look good. I, it definitely looks good, great, all those. But it, there were only a few times where it really seemed amazing. Like, yeah, I've seen things like this before, like uh, some of the uh, early scenes in Charlotte. Those looked amazing. And yeah, uh, like uh, Ufotable, they do amazing special effects, and this was seemed to be rather basic, just done really well with the backgrounds. So yeah, um... Pretty colors, they're there, and yeah. Uh, soundtrack is also pretty good. They had uh, some insert songs throughout it, which I really liked, and I also liked the whole, um, yeah, the background music. It did go to actually in a few of the really emotional moments that gave me chills, and that was really good. Uh, but music and sound and a uh, good animation really don't mean much unless the story is also good. I said before that the uh, production values, they only hope to accent what's already there. You can take something decent and make it into something really enjoyable, but it cannot save something where there's no story at all there to be good. That is good. Fortunately, in this case, there was a really interesting story. I really don't get into spoilers with it because I tried going into this knowing as little as possible, though I did know a little bit. I just didn't know like the whole concept with how the guy and the girl... Um, yeah, what's going on with them? And I forgot their names. It's actually kind of fitting. But yeah, I don't remember their names, so I just call them he and she. And yeah, uh, it is a romance between this guy and girl, at least done in a non-conventional way. Like, in the anime romance, you expect to like, meet in school or maybe some type of club and then just uh, get to know each other and then fall in love. This show does not do it that way, though. It does it something different that, well... There's actually a lot of mystery about exactly what's going on between the two of them. And I do like how it just shows them growing growing close together, even though it's not what it's not a normal type of romance. Um yeah, and I really did like this. 
it yeah there was like one time in the middle where it sounded like they were like glossing over too much of their relationship like they were kind of getting used to what was going on and then now they're a lot closer and then it um goes into the more I guess, I don't know, like, like the, the first half with the, the two of them and uh, figuring out what's going on with them, and then there's a second half which is more, I don't know, it's still like figuring out what's going on with them, but it's like, it's more suspense focused, I guess. Uh, yeah, and there was some good comedy in the uh, beginning, especially as they were getting used to what was going on and just the surprise that they had and uh, how that ended up going places. <laughs> Yeah, at first uh, there's a scene in the beginning. Was like, it was it just seemed to be like completely tasteless? Like, why are they including this? And I was like, oh, that makes sense. And it, they were even able to bring that back later on. It's like, okay, I'm actually really, really glad to see that this is happening. Not for the reasons you would expect if you see the scene out of context. Though I really should like screenshot that or something. Uh, yeah, and there were a good number of plot twists throughout it. Uh, like. There was a big one about halfway through, which like changed a lot of things, and uh, yeah, and just overall really the suspense up. They did good with that throughout the plot twists. And yeah, supernatural aspects. This is where I end up starting having problems with the show because yes, there are supernatural aspects to it. Um, yeah, supernatural aspects. What was I saying about it? Yes, uh, this is like they do. The reason the romance is uh, different than normal is because of the supernatural aspects. That is, yeah, that's a true statement. And uh, the problem with it, though, is that they never really explain, like, why it is working the way it is. It's just, like, it happens. And then later on in the show, they, like, need something to move the plot forward, and it just happens in the right way for it to move forward, even though we're not really sure why it should, or, like, it just, yeah. That, that's the thing that I really don't like about this movie, because, yeah, be, because if you're going to have a supernatural elements, we want to at least know how they work so that when they do something, it makes sense all along that they would do it this way. Uh, like the alchemy in Full Metal Alchemist, like you always have to have equivalent exchange, exchange. You have to give something up to get something. And even the twist that they do with that, it makes sense given that context. Well, this, these things just, they happen. And... Yeah, and, yeah. I'm not really good at flaws. I lose my train of thought sometimes. Uh, and then there were, yeah, there was a couple of things with the supernatural aspects. So it was like, it seems, it, things seem to happen in the way that created the most drama. Like, they could have made it one way, and then it would make sense why the characters, or it would make sense that the characters would do something, and then the situation would be resolved. And, in fact... Uh, that's another thing that I do really like is how they seem to like stretch out the ending too much. Like I figure out a way that okay, uh, the guy and the girl they can get together if they do this, it would make sense and it would wrap everything up perfectly. But the show didn't do that; just like dragged it out more, and it really didn't feel like this added anything to it. It could have if they like added more plot points there, but they didn't. And it's just kind of why did you do it this way? And yeah, that's. My basic thoughts on the show. It is a good movie, though. Uh, very interesting in seeing how the uh, relationship between the characters unfolded. A good mystery. And supernatural aspects were... They were made the show more entertaining, I think. Because I don't think a plain romance would really uh, keep my interest that much. But yeah, oh, and... One of the things about the show is the concept of dreams. Like, And I can actually relate to some of the things that these characters go through. Like, there's one point where the character, like, wants to remember the dream that he had and was, like, trying to communicate within his dream. And that's actually something, like, I do. Like, I'll be dreaming and I realize it. And I like, want to pass on a message to, like, my real self. So, like, I'll try emailing it to me, even though that doesn't work. Or, like, try to, like, remember a sentence or something to encompass it. Or I'll be with someone in there and I think that, in, in the dream at least, I think that they can pass it on or... Like, they are also dreaming, and, like, our dreams are in our 20. And, yeah, that's... So seeing that some similar things here happen with the characters was really cool. And, yeah, if only that, like, the one character had not done something so stupid with that, then everything would have been resolved a lot better. Or if uh, she had not forgotten that, and then she did forget a lot of things, but still, how would you not notice that? And, yeah, the show is... Uh, this movie is good. 
It is not the best movie ever. It's not the best anime ever. It is still a pretty good movie. Don't go into it expecting the greatest thing ever, otherwise you'll definitely be disappointed. But go into this expecting a decent uh, romance done differently with some supernatural elements, and you'll probably enjoy it. If anything, as I said, the art and sound is wonderful. And yeah, that's about, about everything. If I had to score it, I think 7 out of 10 is the score I'm giving it. I might change it more, but like... Yeah, that seems to be fitting. Like, Perfect Blue, I gave a 9, and that was an incredible movie. Incredible movie. This doesn't come close, but I still liked it, so yeah, 7 seems good. Uh, I like giving recommendations because I like finding similar links with the shows. So, Kiznavir is one of them because I also saw it quite recently, and there are some similarities there, at least how my mind processes things. And yeah, also The Notebook, because I think there are similarities even though I haven't seen The Notebook, and that's not anime, but yeah. I hope I didn't spoil anything by seeing it, but considering I might be completely wrong about what the notebook's about, I'm not spoiling anything. I hope. We'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you do, I might make more of these when I'm here, since I'm, like, in this hotel for, like, a week, and just having this crappy laptop, and, yeah. Talk to you next time.